We'll start with the Lone Museum off by itself, away from the others. But you want to stop by this building when you get on campus anyway. This is the Cullis and Gladys Wade Clock Museum in the Mississippi State Welcome Center building. Cullis Wade had a fascination with timepieces. His collection of over 400 clocks and watches includes an example from every American maker of clocks going all the way back to the 1700s. Now, when you go there, listen as well as look. The ticking of time passing sounds like marching as time marches on. And as each individual clock blends in with the others, it may remind you of rushing water, like time itself going somewhere. But the collection has its own way of bringing you back to reality. Now for the next two museums, you won't even have to move your car once you park. They're both in the Mitchell Library on the Mississippi State campus. One of them's really two collections in one, the Ulysses Grant Presidential Library, as well as a huge collection of material associated with Abraham Lincoln. Mississippi State put in a bid to house the papers of President Grant many years ago. Now, not only are his documents housed here for researchers to examine, but a sizable collection of artifacts from his presidency is here also. Closely associated with Grant is Lincoln. Lincoln, of course, the president during the Civil War under whom Grant served. So what better place to house and showcase the largest private collection of Lincoln material than right beside the Grant Library? Frank Williams served as Chief Justice of the Rhode Island Supreme Court before his retirement, but he collected Lincoln memorabilia starting when he was just a boy, and his collection is now housed at Mississippi State. In the same building as the Grant Library is the Templeton Music Museum, donated by a lifelong collector of mechanical music items like player pianos and music boxes, but particularly sheet music and phonographs and phonograph records from the jazz era. One more place you may want to pop in and see while you're on the campus at Mississippi State is the Entomology Lab. They have a bug museum. There's over a million and a half specimens in here, mostly stored away and mostly for research. But there's always some on display for people who wander by. Only place you'll see more bugs than this at one time is on your windshield, driving through the Delta on a summer night. But all of this on a tank of gas in Starkville and Mississippi State University.